Okay, so we have quite a lot of things to do, so let's get started in setting up Kafka with Prometheus. So the first thing we'll do is that we'll install the JMX exporter agent on our Kafka brokers. We'll install then Prometheus on the administration machine and set it up as a systemd service. And then we'll view that in Prometheus that the Kafka data is indeed being pulled. And then we'll have to set up as an exercise the two other brokers and Zookeeper because I want you to work too, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is set up the Prometheus, so Prometheus um, the tool. And so what is Prometheus? If you go there, it says that it's a monitoring tool from metrics to insights, and it's available, it's open source monitoring solution. And so we'll get started, we'll download it and so on. So the first thing you want to do though, is set up the Prometheus, Prometheus Java JMX exporter agents. So this agent is basically something we want to set up and here's the GitHub project for it. And it's basically a way to expose the JMX beans. So our JMX metrics from Kafka via HTTP so that Prometheus can consume them. So that's the general idea. It's pretty simple. And so basically it gives us the command to run Java minus Java agent and this jar and this config and then our jar. So the first thing we have to do is download the jar from here onto our uh, Kafka boxes, and then we'll have the metrics available. So let's let's have a look and do it step by step, okay? The first thing you want to do is SSH into our Kafka box. So I'll SSH into my first Kafka machine right here. So let's go to the instances and take Kafka one to get started. I'll take the public IP, which is right here, and I'll do SSH and here's the public IP. Okay, so we are in Kafka one. So if we do sudo systemctl uh, status Kafka, we can see that Kafka is running and everything is great. Okay, so all the code is again coded by me before the course so we don't have too much struggle. So what we need to do is create a Prometheus directory, go into the directory, then download the file they gave us and then download a configuration. So let's just do this. We'll um, copy this line. So the first thing is to make a directory and call it Prometheus. Okay. And in there, we're going to download that Java agent jar that was from the GitHub page. And we're done. Now, there is a second thing we need to do is to set up the config. So if we go here, um, as you can see here, there is an example configs folder. And within the example configs, there's Kafka 082.yaml, and it's still very much valid right now. So this is the kind of YAML file we want to use to export our metrics. So we also need to download that file. And for this, fairly easy, we can just do a web get, the right command. Oops, let me copy this again, and paste it. And here we go. So now if you look in our directory, we have, and actually I forgot to do the right thing. So I need to move these files, obviously, into my Prometheus directory. So I'll move this one and I'll move the JMX one into the Prometheus directory. So if we look at the root, we have Kafka, Kafka underscore 2.12, Kafka, and then Prometheus. And if we go to Prometheus, we can see that we have the JMX Java agent and the Kafka 082.yaml. If you look at what the Kafka uh, 082.yaml is, so let's have a look. So nano. Kafka. So this is basically a configuration and I wouldn't change it too much if I were you, but it basically says to export um, the patterns of the Kafka metrics based on these rules. And so these rules are made so that every Kafka metric should be exported. Um, and just have a look out for that file in case of changes, but this basically pulls everything from Kafka into uh, a Prometheus format. So this looks good. We have our Java agent and we have our Kafka.yaml. And so what we need to do now is basically change our Kafka service definition so that it uses the Java agent to get started. So again, just a reminder, if we go here and we go to Java agent, it says we need to run this minus Java agent option pointing to the JMX Prometheus Java agent right here into config.yaml. And so for this, we're going to have to edit our system file. So we'll do nano and we'll do a pseudo of this because we need to be elevated. Syst etc systemd system kafka.service. And so here we are. 
And so we need to change this file basically to add this Java agent line. So right above exec start, I'll write environment equals, and there is this variable called Kafka options that you can pass options to, and we'll automatically add this right line correctly. And so we need to edit this Kafka options with the line we need. So for this, because I'm lazy and already typed it just to make sure we have it right, I'll copy and paste this. Here we go. So let's have a look at what this did. So we do Kafka options equals minus Java agent. So just like in the GitHub repository we just saw, then the full path of my Prometheus Java agent. So if you didn't download it correctly in the right path, it will error out for you. 8080, which is the port it's going to be exported as. So 8080 is what we can query. And then we also pass in the configuration. So the configuration is Kafka082.yaml, and this is the full path. So this looks correct. Now exit it and press yes. And so we are ready. And so now, um, if I do my restart of Kafka, things should work. So sudo systemctl restart Kafka. And it says Kafka service change on disk, run systemctl daemon reload to reload units. So I'll first do this, sudo systemctl daemon reload. And that's because we changed this file right here, kafka.service. So I'll run this, and now I can restart Kafka properly. So I'm restarting Kafka and this command may take a while. Okay, it's done. Now I can just do susto stl status Kafka and Kafka is active and running. So that means that uh, hopefully this Java agent option get taken into account. Otherwise it would be crashed, I guess. So if we do a curl now onto localhost port 8080, we should see all the Kafka metrics. You see all these things, that's all the Kafka metrics. And so that's really good because this is what Prometheus will get from Kafka every now and then. So from this step, what we did is that we did set up Kafka broker number one to have the Java JMX agent directly running in the service. So this looks correct. And now in the next step, we need to go and set up the administration box. So I'm going to go on the right hand side. So here on the right hand side is going to be my administration box. And here on the left hand side is going to be my Kafka box. So let's go into the administration box so we can set up Prometheus there. So administration is right here. Here's my public IP. So that looks good. Now I'm going to SSH into it. So SSH into this. Okay, I am in my administration box. And so one thing we can do already is see if we can access the metrics of the left hand side from the right hand side. So Kafka one metrics from the administration box. So for this, we'll do a curl and the Kafka IP address. So 172, 31, 131, port 8080. And yeah, it works. So we get all the Kafka metrics on the right hand side and pulled from the machine on the left hand side. So cool. So this is working. We have a connectivity working between our administration box to our Kafka machine. And now we're ready to set up Prometheus on this machine. So let's have a look at how to set up Prometheus. So let's just scroll down in our little tutorial. It's pretty easy. There is basically on the GitHub of Prometheus, a release download. So let's have a look right here. So if we go to Prometheus, and we go to the Prometheus page, here we go. So by the way, it's a project with 18,000 stars, so it's quite a popular one. If we go to releases, we see that uh, there is a version 2.3.2 at the time of recording, and it basically gives us a Linux um, ARM64 or whatever di 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 um, distribution you need for your stuff. So for our machine, what we need is Linux AMD64, so we're going to do a web get. So here in our administration machine, okay, don't be mistaken, we download Prometheus. So it can take a bit of time because this is quite a big file. So for me, there is about uh, 30 seconds, so I'll just pause. Okay, the file is now downloaded. So if we look into our directory, we do see that we had a Kafka monitor that we downloaded from before and now this Prometheus file. So we need to extract this file. For this, we run the tar command, minus x, ZF to just extract the correct file. So here we go. We run this. 
And now if we do LL, we see that now we have our LS. We see that now we have a directory called Prometheus 2.3.2 Linux AMD. So we'll have to rename that directory. So I'll just move this into Prometheus. Okay, so now if we do LS, we have a Kafka monitor directory, a Prometheus directory, and then our zip file from before. And now we're ready to remove our zip file. So let me just remove the zip file. Here we go. So if we do LS, we have Kafka monitor and Prometheus. And if we look into the Prometheus directory, we see that there is prompt tool, prometheus.yaml, etc., etc., etc. So this is good. Now we need to look at this configuration file, prometheus.yaml. So let's have a look at it. So nano Prometheus, Prometheus, Prometheus.yaml. Okay, so let's have a look. I'll just, you see here. So this is a global configuration. And basically it says that every 15 seconds, you are going to look for new data. So every 15 seconds, it, are, it is going to query Kafka and say, Kafka, what do you have as new data? And so basically, as you scroll down, you can set up different um, jobs and it's called scrape configs. And scrape configs is basically a way to get um, metrics from wherever you want. So as you can see here, there's a job name named Prometheus, which queries itself on localhost 8080 to see the metrics of Prometheus. But so what we need to do here is to add a scrape config so that uh, we can scrape Kafka. Easy enough. I have everything set up for you. So if we go to Prometheus right here um, and go to Prometheus.yaml, as you can see, I have added a scrape config, job name Kafka, static configs, targets, and here is the Kafka IP. So I need to make sure that my Kafka IP is correct because it's different here. So I'll do, um, from what I remember, it is 171.31.131. So 1.31, okay. So this is my Kafka 1. 172, 31, 31, and so that's Kafka 1. Change IP for your use case. Okay. And so I need to basically paste this scrape config and even paste the global. So I'll just copy this whole thing and I'll actually remove this file and erase it. So we'll remove, we'll cd into Prometheus. We'll remove the Prometheus.yaml file and we'll create a new one, prometheus.yaml file, paste it. And as we can see now, this job should have a target of my Kafka. So let's just verify that this is the right one. I'll exit and save, yes. And if we do a curl again on this, it works, we get the metrics. So the Prometheus configuration file is correct. And so now that we have this, we should just start Prometheus. So for this, it's just one command, dot slash Prometheus. So let's have a look and start Prometheus. And as you can see now, um, it started really, really quickly. And it says server is ready to receive web, web request. So now we actually have to go ahead and open Prometheus into our um, web browser. And as you can see here, the address is 000 slash uh, port 1990. So we have to go to port 1990. So let's have a look here. So now here I am in my web browser and I will go and open a new page and go to port 9090. And if everything works, no, it doesn't work obviously because maybe you've guessed I need to change the security group one more time. So in the security group, we need to add an inbound rule and we'll add the port 9090 from everywhere and we'll call this Prometheus, Prometheus, that looks good. So anytime you get an error, as in the port can't be accessed or whatever, this is the kind of things you need to look out for. Okay, so let's just refresh this page now. So copy the URL again, port 1990. And if everything works, now in the web browser, we should see Prometheus. So this is Prometheus. It doesn't look very, very good, I have to say, but it works really well. And so basically, if you type any, um, any query right here on Kafka, well, you get all the Kafka metrics right here. So this is really, really nice. Um, if we get, for example, uh, Kafka cluster partition replicas count and executes, we see all the value of uh, the, this metric, this one particular metric. So it's not very usable so far, right? But it is all the metrics from Kafka 
pulled by Prometheus and you just get the hint that it's working because of all these things right here, all these metrics are available for us. So this is all the kind of stuff that will be displayed by um, Grafana. So now we're almost done. Um, Prometheus is indeed running, but we need to set it up as a service, just like before. So I'm going to stop Prometheus and Prometheus is stop. It says, see you next time. This is nice. See you next time, Prometheus. And so next, what we have to do is go into um, this little directory I prepared for you and set up Prometheus as a systemd file. So for this, we'll create a new systemd nano file. So sudo nano etc systemd system and then prometheus.service. And now we need to fill something in. So just like before, everything is ready for you. In systemd right here, we have prometheus.service and we can copy this entire thing in there. So this is provided directly by Prometheus. So here's the description, it's a Prometheus server. Here's the documentation. And we have the same after before when the network is online. The user that's going to be running this is EC2 user. And to start Prometheus, very easy. We run the Prometheus command we just ran before. And we also pass the config file as an argument. So this looks good. Control X, Control Y. So let's just check right now if I refresh this page, it says this site can't be reached. But now I'm going to do sudo service start Prometheus. And obviously it's not service, it's systemd. I'm a bit systemctl start Prometheus. And now we're going to do a status on Prometheus just to make sure that everything is working. So it says active running. So this looks good. And I refresh this page and we get our Prometheus ready available. And if I query for any um, command in sync replica accounts, it works. Um, so we have our metrics and everything all working in Prometheus. So this looks nice. Uh, so far, what we've did, just as a summary, we've installed the JMX exporter on the Kafka brokers. We've installed the Prometheus on the administration machines as a service. We viewed in Prometheus that the Kafka data isn't being pulled out. And now in the next lectures, as I said, you're going to have to set up the two other brokers and Zookeeper, and that's a fun exercise for you. All right, so I will see you in the next lecture with a solution to that.